Hello and welcome to episode number three of the Pokemon Wheel of Fortune. I span A in the previous episode and here is the team. Now before we go through it, let me tell you, I'm filming this intro after I've actually done the battles already. And um, I practiced quite a bit for this one. It was brutal, the amount of near misses that I've had with this team. It functions as a cohesive unit, but it's just, it's just not quite there when it comes to the meta. But I, honestly, I think it's the best I could have done uh, considering the, the restraints that I've put on myself. So let's quickly talk through the team. So we've got the Firewater Grass Core, we've got Arcanine, Azumarill with Choice Band, and then we've got Arbolivar, which is such a strange pick. Originally this was Amoongus, which doesn't really need any explanation. Then we switched over to Arbolivar because I was seeing a lot of um, uh, psychic teams with psychic terrain, and I made the team, this final iteration of the team is actually pretty bulky and has lots of methods of recovery as well as double intimidate, as you can see. So the ability to get grassy terrain up it was actually really useful in, in a couple of games. Uh, we'll see if it appears today though, um, but that's why it's on the team. It doesn't appear today, sorry to spoil it, but our Bolivar doesn't appear today in, in the episode. But th there were games where it did work out really, really nicely. So it, it, it had, a, had a function on the team. Eject button as well could switch it in, swap out on the Intimidate Pokemon, switch it in, and then get the Intimidate Pokemon back out with grassy terrain set up. It really disrupted Psychic teams. Now, then we've got Ampom and Annihilate. So you know what Annihilate does. Ampom is Mousehold from Wish.com, except it's faster than Mousehold, which is pretty nice because it means I can fake out some Mouseholds. And uh, also gets Fling as well, Fling King's Rock. Now, in practice, some, <laughs> some funny things happened. Uh, namely being I can't beat up Annihilate until I've flung the King's Rock because there's a good chance I'll end up uh, flinching Moan Annihilate, so <laughs> so that's a thing. Uh, Mudshot on this set as well because Mudshot is a 95% accurate move, 100% chance of lower speed, so we've got a, a fairly speedy Annihilate. Um, the idea is help it get set up for next to Anderpom, and anything that's faster than Annihilate after the fact we can just give it a quick Mudshot and then Annihilate can, can get the job done there. And then lastly Arbok. So one of my favourite Pokemon, Pokemon did not make the team. Originally, Altaria was actually on this team to deal with weather teams. Uh, but in practice, weather was nowhere to be seen until I started recording, of course. Um, so we switched over to Arbok. So I wanted Double Intimidate. I wanted Snarl. I wanted Glare as well. I wanted to be able to like paraflinch things between Arbok and uh, Arcanine. So it just made sense. Also, with, with uh, Primarina being so prevalent, um, it made sense to get a poison type on the team as well. So one of my favorite Pokemon makes the team. This is the team. Let's see if we can get the win. I mean, we do get the win, but let's see how we get the win. Right, we have an opponent. It is a Trick Room team. And they've got a Vaporeon as well, which is the thing that's sticking out to me. Uh, I mean, in terms of everything else, there are some interesting picks, but you can see where they fit onto the team. It's just the Vaporeon. Uh, I'm not sure what it's doing here. Probably yawn stuff, let's be real. Um, but yeah, hard trick room. Got fake out in the Tinker Ton, so could well be a Belly Drum Snorlax. I expect it to be Belly Drum Snorlax, to be honest. So, what do we do versus trick room? Well, this kind of trick room. We're fighting in trick room, we can't really stop that. Unless we get a flinch or something. I'm okay to fight in Trick Room. We've got a pretty slow team overall anyway. We're going to lead Annihilate. Annihilate Arbok. Azumarill Arcanine. I expect they're going to probably lead the Tinker Tom, right? They're going to want to fake out and go for the... Uh... Trick Room set up or go for something else like a like a Belly Drum if it's next to Snorlax. So of course that allows us to uh, threaten with Annihilate since we can't be faked out. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So it is the uh, the, the Trick Room setup mode they're going for. Okay, so we do have to be a little bit careful with Annihilate here, of course, because it is threatened by both of these Pokemon. I think I do just go for this Rastalization, to be honest, because looking at what else they've got in the back, 
Terrestrializing helps against the tall coal. Helps with what's opposite the field at the moment as well. It allows things like the Conkelder to hit us, but we've got Intimidate as well. So I, I'm, I think I'm okay doing this. And we'll go for the bulk up as well. We'll go for the Snarl. Almost run out of time there. I was thinking about going for the Glare onto uh, Fridge Rath, which would have been quite a nice play actually. Because if we could have paralyzed it and stopped again Trick Room up, then we'd be in a great spot. But Snarl play should work out as well. Not guaranteed to get the Paralysis, of course. Of course, yeah, we're going to see the fake out anyway. And there's the trick for it. So the, the thing is, Tinkerton does get Encore. It is naturally faster than Annihilate, I think. Pretty sure it is. Um, but things can happen. <laughs> Thing, <laughs> things of a nature of which uh, we're not going to speak into existence. So we're going to... We're going to go for this. spray so we're, we're gonna mitigate that with the uh, with the snarl and it's probably gonna be a gigaton hammer into uh, Arbok yep there we go we should survive this just barely so the intimidate paying off there I tell you, it's got it's got some staying power. It has got some staying power, Arbok. And uh, we don't give him the free switch, which is perfect. Now, we're actually going to bulk up again because again, I don't want to give him the free switch. We're going to burn a turn of Trick Room as well. I would like to keep Arbok around, so I don't really want it getting knocked out here. Or should we pull a switch? We'll, we'll pull a switch because we can uh, we can have a bit more threat on the field the following turn as well. I think this is fairly safe to do. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm glad we, did, glad we didn't protect. <laughs> and the hyper voice comes out. That was a nice, uh, nice faint. So I do want to start dishing out some damage on this giraffe. So that we can stop Trick from going up later in the game. For a second time. Let's have a look. Two turns left. Honestly, I feel like they might even just pull the switch now. So we're actually going to just double, double the giraffe. They are—they're just pulling the switch. They're like, nah, nah. <laughs> I need to get—I need to get my conk in or my torco in or whatever. Or the Snorlax. Okay. Bit of a risky switch that could have gone for the uh, drain punch into that slot again. But we didn't. Now, you've got to expect that the uh, the Tinker Tunnel is going to come back in, fake out. Fake out Belly Drum. But we've got we've got a good threat on the field anyway. We'll see. It might just be the tall car or something else. I think it's going to be the Tinker Tun though. It is okay. So I 
I mean, all day long with double targeting it. Is it going to be Ghost? <laughs> I think it's going to be Ghost. It's Poison! Okay, let's see if this pans out. So let's just go into the Azumarill. It's a Yawn. So there's the Yawn. They've got, what, three Pokemon on their team that can uh, can use Yawn? Snorlax, Torkoal, Vaporeon. Yeah, it's not much damage, is it? Now, we're going to get Arbok back in. Probably going to lose Azumarill here, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, we'll just do what we can with the zoom rule. I think it's going down though. Could have probably knocked out the Tinker Ton here, but I didn't fancy trading uh, Tinker Ton for an Asleep Annihilate. So actually swapping uh, Snorlax out. Into Conk. So they've already, already terrestrialized, so I don't have to worry about Conkel to put a defensive terror on me. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but we kind of do just have to do this. I think we might see the, uh, the Snorlax just switch in. can't really protect either, can I? Because they could always go for the faint. I don't think they will go for the faint, but they could always go for the faint. Which would be a problem. You know, here's what we need to do. We need to actually swap in Annihilate. And... Do this! That's not actually what we need to do. What I need to do is keep Arbok in and swap in the... Uh, Annihilate on the Arcanine slot. Because we're taking a Drain Punch that way. What the thing is the Annihilate? Okay. But we'll see how it pans out. Okay, interesting play. Yeah, see, I wanted to keep Arcanine around, but... It is what it is. Faint, fake out, gigaton, hammer. And we haven't seen a final move. Probably play rough. Go for the bulk up and glare. So things were going quite well, but we've lost a little bit of momentum. I think we're still going to be okay though. Yeah, this is a good start. I'm still a little bit worried about what this Snorlax has up his sleeve. 
Yawn plus belly drum, I mean, that's not really a thing, but I, I think we saw Protect on it already as well, didn't we? So I'd be very surprised if that is what's going on. But you never know. We're going to double the conch slot. So they're swapping it out. Makes sense. If, if they've got Mac Punch on the Conkelda, then that's that's a really nice switch. It allows them to switch back in and do some big damage on subsequent turns. Here we go. Big damage from the Poison Jab. Yawn again. Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna see a double protect on the following turn. Obviously. And for that reason, we've got to go for the bulk up. Man, if they don't protect the Conkeldi, I'll be so sad. So there's one. Oh, they didn't protect the Snorlax. Nice. That's a nice play. They, there was no reason to, really. I was always going to go after the uh, the Conkelda. Oh, it gets fully paralysed. Okay, so at least we don't have to worry about Arbok, going, Arbok being put to sleep. Or even knocked out, which is probably going to be the case on that turn. Let's have a look. So both sitting at neutral attack. Part of me does actually we just want to protect Arbok. Because I think they might go after it with the Snorlax. too much damage they just doubled it as well wow that was a lot of damage oh, that's not great okay we're gonna go for the protect because i'm forced to and we'll go for the poison jab yeah we stay asleep not good yeah if we'd attacked on the previous turn Oh, I think we might have had a chance here, but we don't. The Nilev goes down. I thought it would take a little bit less damage, all things considered. Two bowl cups. Yeah, oh, we probably could have pulled it back as well if we had just attacked the Varbok on that turn. We'd still be relying on sleep turns, though. We'd, we'd need, because we'll be in a position now where an I Lake would still be on the field. Unless they have Mac Punch, in which case it wouldn't have been. But if it, if it was and things worked out for the best, then I like to stay on the field now. And uh, we'd need it to wake up. That's what it'd come down to. GG. Unless we get like a thousand full paras. <laughs> Definitely yawn. Do they not have a uh, protect on the Snorlax? I thought they did, but maybe they don't. GG, GG. I thought we had that one. Maybe we kind of threw it away a little bit there with the switch um, earlier on. Kind of got stuck in my own, in my own head there. But it is what it is. Not easy with this sort of team. So let's uh, let's go to the next battle. We'll see if we can get that that win. Okay, we have an opponent. It is a. Different looking sand team with a trick room element as well. Hmm.
Interesting. For sure. Okay, so we're gonna, probably going to lead the Arbok. Double Intimidate lead. I think so. Double Intimidate. We force a Terrestrialization out of them as well. We're going to bring... Man, if it goes to Trick Room, I really want to bring up a Bolivar. If it doesn't go to Trick Room, I don't really want to bring it. We definitely bring Azumarill and Annihilate or a Bolivar. If we Terrastalize Annihilate, it's, it's pretty good. Outside of getting smashed by the, the rock type and the ground type there. Yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Let's see. What are we expecting in the lead? Uh, for Ridgeraf. Golden Go. Darth Punk on the trainer card. Berserker Gold. Oh, this makes sense. This makes sense. So you've got Berserker boosting the... Uh, damage from Golden Go as well. And does Berserker get Fake Out? I feel like it does. Oh god, what is this we've walked into here? Right, we're just going to go for the Protect play. I feel like if they're going to Fake Out here for them, it's going to be the Arcanine, right? So they're just going for the, uh, the Terrestrialization. They're just trying to smash through. To be honest, they might manage it. <laughs> it does get fake out. It does go into Arcanine. Is Arbok going to survive the turn? I'm not convinced it is. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, Arbok. We sacrificed you there. In hindsight, Ampom would have been a pretty good lead. Ampom Arcanine should have been the lead, because then we could have at least used Fling on the uh, Golden Ghost, should they have led it. Um, okay, let's do it. Annihilate. Flare Blitz is obvious, but what else are we going to do? They're going to bring in the Tyranitar, probably. They don't really want Tyranitar opposite Annihilate, though. So I, I kind of feel okay going into the Berserker. Because I feel like the Golden Go is the one that's going to swap. They might not even swap to Tyranitar, right? Because Tyranitar's fighting weak, and both the Pokemon on the field are now fighting weak as well. So Golden Go is the one to switch. Into Ursa Luna, which is also fighting weak. Lots of fighting weaknesses on this team. Only thing I'm worried about is the Focus Sash, which I think might be on the Berserker. It's not. Okay. So now... Oh god, they're, they're primed to get Trick Room up. So if they bring in the Giraffe now, we just need to get it gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna double that. So that's gonna go to the protect. That's a lot of damage. Is there a berry though? There's no berry. Okay, okay, we are in business. Oh, that was, uh, that was a tricky, that was a tricky corner to navigate there, but we've, we've done it. It's not over yet, but now Azumarill has free reign with Aquajet as well, when it comes in. And I'm assuming this is Specs Golden Goat. And we're just going to go for the super effective moves and should be the end of the game. Yep, Golden Go goes down. Arcanine goes down. Ursula does not yet go down. Straight KO as well. I don't know if the crit mattered, but thankfully we've got a Pokemon in the back that uh, doesn't care about the Earth Luna at this point. go we did it we got the win that was really really difficult um we might do another one we might not <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it cuts to the will we didn't do another one we have an opponent it is uh kind of a semi rain team actually no it's, it's a rain team it's a straight up rain team but instead of some swift swim users we've got pokemon that function well in the rain just in general So, we're going to lead Ambipom. Are we, we going to lead Ambipom? I think we are. Yeah, we're going to lead Ambipom. Annihilate. It's going to be the Pelipper or Chalodon in the lead. Um... Yeah, Chalodon is going to be a bit of a problem to, to remove. We're going to bring Arbok for that reason. I'm also going to bring... Not Arcanine. I'm going to bring Azumarill. This is going to be a real tough one. Because basically I want to... Stop them getting Trick Room up. But I also want to stop them boosting up the Archalodon. And that's not something I can easily do uh, at the same time. Okay. So here's how we do it. We fake out. Bulk up. Electro shot comes out. the Ampon. And we survive, surprisingly. Now. I 
can't, I can't beat up Annihilate because I've got the, <laughs> I've got the King's Rock, and I'll make myself flinch. So here's here's how we do this. We uh, we fling into the Pelipper now. And we go for another bulk up. We're seeing a Trastalization come out. Grass are Chalodon. Interesting. Okay, so they're getting rid of the uh, fighting weakness, unfortunately. I was hoping they'd keep that around for me. Second electro shot. Can we survive this? Oh, not if it's in the amber pom. No, we can't. Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping that the amber pom would stick around because the beat up play was on the following turn. Um. Is that okay? I, I don't think... It's not looking good. But... Maybe there's something we can do here. I'm not convinced this Rage Fist is getting the job done on Pelipper. I need it to, though. Like, there's a world in which we get a double KO here. I don't think it's a world we live in, though. Yeah, it's not enough. You know what? I'm happier with that than, than seeing a Tailwind. Go into the Azumarill, please. I think that's into the, the Annihilate in it. Oh no. That's into the Azumarill. Oh, okay, okay. This is actually... This has gotten pretty interesting. How much damage is that going to do? Not enough to get the KO. Do they have Protect on the Pelipper? That's what it comes down to. I can't not target that slot. Tailwind. They might have like Wide Guard, Weather Ball or something. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Is there something else we could do here? No, I, feel, I think we've got to do this. I, I don't think we've got a choice. We're actually going to swap in the Arbok. We'll see what the Pelipper goes for. Hopefully it does have Protect and they'll go for it. So our, the, the threat is down. Well, what would have been the, the, the threat in Tailwind? This Pelipper is still a bit of an issue. Hopefully they've gone for a Tailwind. Then for the Hurricane. We've gone into Arbok. Which I'm very happy to see. Okay, so they still don't have a Tailwind up. It's the last turn of Rain as well. And honestly, this could have been going a lot worse. And the Amoongus comes in. I, 
I'm worried about the side pollen puff, honestly. Uh, I think we just got to go in. I don't think I have a choice. I go for the rage powder. Yeah, I think this was the right play, regardless of what comes out from the Pelipper. It's just a Tailwind. Because they probably go for a blind hurricane on the next turn anyway. Rain has stopped. Keep the Pelipper in. Go for the Hurricane. Into Annihilate. And they... Okay, so... Side Pollen Puff. I'm happy, happier to see that than anything else. Uh, okay, so, I mean, what else have they got in the back? Because that's what it's going to come down to. Um, I think it's the Golden Go. So I'm actually going to go for the Snarl. Could just go on the attack. I mean, we might just lose the Annihilate here. Um... Now we're going to swap in uh, Azumarill. Okay, protect from the Amoongus. I forgot we were grass type and just switched into the, uh, the Hurricane. Okay, so <clears throat> last turn of Tailwind. <clears throat> Naturally, we're going to protect with Annihilate here. Snarl's not going to get the job done on, on Amoongus, I don't think. So I, I do think I need to go for the Poison Jab into that slot. Poison Jab protect. I was trying to cover for the Golden Go switch on the previous turn. But we can't be messing about with that now. Let's go for the wide guard. Okay. Have we seen all their moves? Tailwind, wide guard, hurricane. I don't think we've seen a protect. I don't think we've seen a warp move either. Okay, so it comes down to what this is. It's the golden go. can't not attack the Golden Go. I need to. Okay, no protect. Oh, it's not even enough though. What? Oh no. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I thought the Rage Fist was going to get the job done, honestly. How many attacks did we take into Annihilate? It must, it must have been just the one. 
Oh man, that's uh, that's painful. I mean, from here, we just lose. <laughs> uh, we'll go for the protect. If they nasty plot on me, that'd just be disgusting. Let's go for the make it rain. Oh god, just devastation. I thought we pulled it back. Oh no. It wasn't to be. Well, here we go. So go for the snarl. GG, G, G. What can you say? I thought we did it, but we didn't. Oh, it's close though. I think we played it really well, just not quite enough. So GG to my opponent. Anyway, that's A done. Let's go spin the wheel. Never should have gone back for that third game, but <laughs> that's the life of a Pokemon player. Just one more, right? Uh, let's spin the wheel, see what we'll be using in the next episode. V. Okay, let's check this out. So Pokemon begin with V. Uh, around about the same number as for A. And this is looking uh, its looking kind of rough, to be honest with you. Um, this might be the most difficult one so far. A lot of grass types and bug types in here. A couple of water types sprinkled in as well. Not really a whole lot of diversity in terms of po Pokemon typing. Um, you know what, I can't even see any abilities that are sticking out to me. So we've got no, no Intimidate. We definitely do have Tailwind. Vivalon gets Tailwind. Volcarona gets Tailwind as well. Vullaby <laughs> probably gets Tailwind. Um... Trick Room? Does Veluza get Trick Room? A Pokemon that I have featured before. Um, why am I writing its own name in there? It does not get Trick Room. So there's no Trick Room either. There's there's no uh, hard speed control in the, in the team that we're going to make. But it is what it is. We'll see what we can do. So having played enough of the meta now, I think the next episode that's going to come out is going to be an actual team I'm going to build. Um, I've played enough games now and I've given away enough wins that I think I'm ready to actually hit the ladder with something pretty hard, uh, climb up in the ranks, uh, which should in turn help me prepare for the next episode as well, because I have a better idea of what's being used uh, and specific things I want to look out for, even though I have a pretty good idea now anyway. So hopefully I'll catch you in that next episode. You take care.